Today, we'll be discussing on bakery product. Our start of the day is bread! We choose bread with wheat germ as a prototype of spoiled food because of a few elements. There are two characteristics of bread with wheat germ, which it is high in moisture content and high in carbohydrate. It contains 44.9 gram per 100 gram. Bread molds thrive from bread because of the rich organic materials found in it and carbohydrate fuels the growth of mold spores. Wheat germ is a storehouse of minerals loaded with contents of vitamin E, protein, vitamin B1, B2, B6, magnesium, phosphorus, zinc, natural fiber, and omega-3 fatty acids. But why wheat germ? Wheat germ comes with a lot of health benefits such as it has protein that builds and repairs body tissues, it has iron to promote red blood cell formation, it has vitamin B1 and B2 that support the release of energy, it contains calcium that develops strong bone and teeth. Wheat germ is also cholesterol-free and trans fat-free. But we should never forget about the one crucial factor that causes spoilage of bread, which is the water activity. Fungi can grow with water activity of 0.8. Cream cracker is also used in our experiment for comparison as they have different characteristics and causes different spoilage patterns. For cream cracker, it is high in moisture content, high in fat which is 26 gram per 100 gram and high in carbohydrate which is 61 gram per 100 gram. It contains a relative high proportion of fat compared to bread. They usually have longer shelf life. An open package of cracker can last for 6 to 9 months. An open package of cracker that's stored in container can last for 1 to 2 months for its best quality. So what is the type of food spoilage or poisoning in the viewpoint of microbiology and the microorganism involved? For bread with wheat germ, after one week, the type of food spoilage is moldy. In terms of poisoning, molds on the bread can cause allergic reaction and respiratory problems.